the 11th vlog of Christmas. Hooray! The penultimate one. And um, Taylor Swift, if you're watching, please don't watch this video. Do. Because we're about to butcher all of your very pretty songs. <laughs> We're going to try playing the guitar and piano. How hard can it be? Uh, quite hard, I think. <laughs> Considering I can't play the piano. And I can't play the guitar. <laughs> we have entirely too many cameras and microphones in this room for how this is actually going but to sound. But we have power. <laughs> Good. What's the power for? That's because it's going to take us so long to put this down <laughs> that we're going to need back up. <laughs> I'm just practicing with a sore throat from screaming like a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Screaming like a cat. That's what I sound like. <laughs> well, have you started? Wait, wait for me. <laughs> On the count of three or something. <laughs> okay, okay, ready? And stage two of the proceedings. Dragon, we are now. Dragon, dragon. Is this the bit that you call laying down the track? Yeah, we're laying down the track. <laughs> we're in the mixing studio. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> How are you liking your editing? <laughs> can you block the sound? <laughs> I can do this time. You always look a very thin line. You didn't even hear me out. You didn't leave a warning sign. We're having a little pause to listen to the song. <laughs> we're not sure how it goes. Well, I'm sure how it goes. <laughs> okay. okay. Ready and go. So step right out. Sometime, yeah. Um, a uh, <laughs> she does it. <laughs> go with the setup of the puzzle. <laughs> okay, well, it's just I can't figure out how to do it. It's not very good, but it's we're going to okay. do the puzzle anyway. So right. this is a true story. Yeah. A um, someone relatively recently bought a set of autographs. Okay. For around two thousand pounds. Yeah. Despite knowing full well that most of the autographs were forged. Okay. Why? Was the person who bought them an autograph collector? Did he know a lot about autograph collecting? I don't know. Irrelevant, irrelevant, really, yeah. Okay. The question is more hinging on why were a bunch of forged autographs, they're, they're not really the autographs no. of these people, why are they worth so much money? Well, because one of them isn't forged. One of them isn't forged. But that this person, whoever bought them, wouldn't have bought just that one. So it's not that the just that one was worth the money and the rest came with it. Okay. The whole set was worth that much money. Because of the juxtaposition of the forged ones with the real one. Sort of, yeah. How many altogether were there? Four. Four, you say. So they were like the Beatles. Yeah. Okay. So it's it's the autographs of a band. Mm -hmm. Three of them are fake. Mm -hmm. One is real. Yeah. Interesting. You'd think it would be the other way around, wouldn't you? You'd think it yeah. was 
true or real and one was fake because yeah. John Lennon had already been killed, but there's his signature. Yeah. So is it to do with John Lennon? Yes. Okay. Um, and are the four names yeah. that we see on this piece of paper yeah. the names John Lennon, Ringo Starr, yeah. George Harrison and the other fellow? Yeah. Paul McCartney. Yes, the other fellow. <laughs> okay. Okay. And three of them are forged and mm. one of them is real. Yeah. Um, is the one that's real John Lennon? Yeah. So the person who bought this paid, let's say, £2,000. Yeah. Wouldn't have paid £2,000 just for John Lennon's autograph. Because the person probably already had John Lennon's. Uh, who knows? So just, just wouldn't have thought that was worth £2,000. Okay. And they also, as a clue, probably wouldn't have paid £2,000 for all four of the Beatles' autographs. Okay. Just it not was, interested? Not, just, yeah, not a thing. Just didn't think it was worth £2,000. But this was worth £2,000. Right. Why? Hello. Oh, yeah, you're on video. Yeah. <laughs> you're always in our video. <laughs> How did you get on? Look what you got. What are you doing? What are you... <laughs> I'm just getting in their way. We've been displaced. We Continue with your guessing. Okay. So, were all four signatures put on the paper at the same time? Yes. On the same occasion? Yes. One by one, they wrote their signatures. Yes. John Lennon and three friends. I wouldn't say that. John Lennon and three other people. I wouldn't say that. Hang on, so you're saying that the real John Lennon signature isn't, in fact, written by John Lennon? No, the real John Lennon signature is written by John Lennon, yes. At the same time that the other three, oh, I mean, very similar time yeah. to the other three going down. Yeah. And John Lennon did write his signature. Yeah. Did he know that the other three were going to write theirs? Oh, I think I've got it. <laughs> John Lennon wrote his name on a piece of paper. Yeah. And then randomly walked off and left it behind. Yeah. Okay. Nope. And three other guys nope. sit. Nope. John Lennon wrote his signature because yep. someone said, "Can I have your autograph?" I don't know what the I don't know the exact setup of why this happened, but it doesn't matter. Was John Lennon the first to put his name on the paper? Probably, yeah. Okay, so there was a group of people who were Beatles lookalikes. I wouldn't say that. No. There were people. There were people who didn't look remotely like. But they were quite good at forging signatures. I wouldn't say that. You wouldn't say that. You wouldn't say anything. Um, you go as far as John Lennon wrote his, John Lennon his name. wrote his name. Right? Yeah. On probably a newspaper. Yeah. That's what you said. Yeah. He just wrote it on his newspaper. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, and then he also wrote Paul yeah. McCartney, yeah. Ringo Starr, George. He Harrison. signed all of their names, and he he forged their signatures, okay. not to be deceptive or anything but, because but just for fun for to try fun. them out and apparently his Paul McCartney signature was quite bad but the yeah. others were quite good all the way around and did someone see this piece of paper and say blimey I'm yeah gonna... so then it, well and then in 2017 got... it got sold at auction for around 2,000 pounds right and they wouldn't have paid just for John Lennon's no. and they also probably wouldn't have paid just for the Beatles signature yeah but John Lennon signing everyone's names it was, was worth, worth a lot of money yeah, yeah very nice thank you if you watched yesterday's bread making activity, this is the fruit of my labour. And it's the moment of truth, I'm going to try it. Is it? Has anyone eaten it yet? It's delicious. I is had it? some for breakfast. Okay. Mm, yum! So dry. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Good. This is my mother. She's very yeah. precious. <laughs> I don't usually feature because I'm very self conscious about being on screen. I don't like being on screen. But she's so beautiful. Oh, it's. So why would she it's be more, self conscious? It's not so much about looks, it's more just being self conscious about being yeah. on the screen. Sophie, her very exhibitionist sister, known to many of you, makes every possible opportunity to get into the camera, as indeed does her very exhibitionist father. <laughs> Meanwhile, her mother just, I cr crawl on the floor sometimes to avoid being <laughs> yes, I go to tell, can I tell this story, don't get embarrassed. We're a family of exhibitionists, and mummy always says, I don't know how I got this family of exhibitionists, because I'm so not an exhibitionist, which is the biggest lie in the world. And one time we were at, in Bath, we were on a family weekend in Bath, and mummy was saying like, oh, they're all such exhibitionists, I'm not. And then she went inside the house, and we were all still sitting outside in the garden, and next we know she'd gone upstairs, opened the big double windows onto the garden, and just gone, me! <laughs> just because she hadn't had attention in a few seconds. <laughs> I don't know where you get your out going ridiculousness because <laughs> it's not for me i'm like no. a little quiet mouse little quiet mouse also a very important thing to point out is that we are wearing the same jumper right now yes in different colors yes and 
Daughter number two over there is also wearing the same jumper. Yes, and the reason why are you calling me daughter number two? <laughs> <laughs> I have a name! <laughs> I've, I've forgotten Can't it. Remember what Sharon? You're you were the star. So, will you cut most of me out of that? No. Just do a tiny bit. Love you. I miss what do, you. What do I look like? Lovely. Show me. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice, good grab. I was a like good you. opponent, but not as good as that one. <laughs> Anyone want a cup of tea? Yeah, I want a cake. <laughs> <laughs> Just so everyone knows, this is still a booktube channel. I'm going to do some reading of this ridiculously fun book about an escape room where everyone's going to get murdered. I'll read it instead. <laughs> <laughs> it's the last family drunk night. We're going to get drunk. Before I say, dear mom and dad, goodbye forever. Dear mom and dad, goodbye forever. Love, Rudolph. She's gone shy again. <laughs> miss, I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to leave my parents' house. It's the 11th day of Christmas and I'm blue. But I'm not really because by the time this video goes up, I will be back home partying for New Year's Eve. And I will be, I mean, partying for New Year's Eve obviously means safely in my house with no one else around, but I'll be loving it. Mom, Dad, goodbye forever.